Howdy folks, welcome back to SnowRunner. We are on the Meteor map, just pulling out of the garage with um, power for the scrapyard activated. I've got three jobs lined up that kind of start and end in the same place, sort of. Uh, see, that's too hard to turn. I'll go around past the fuel station. That's where you pick up fuel or oil barrels. This is where I will get three spare parts. Service spare parts. There we go. Three. Whoops. Push too hard. Probably would have been easier to back out. Every time I go to reverse, I honk the horn. We gotta look at where we're going. Ah, uh, we need to go the northern route. Northern route, southern route. I think, I think this way is the northern route. Yeah, right turn. Duh, I was just looking at it. Steering's a little touchy in tight spots, but it's okay on the open road. Those signs used to just fall down. I'm hoping this truck has enough speed to do all three of these jobs in 60 minutes. I can't get a better transmission for it because it's got a rank lockout. I'm rank 5, I have to be 10 to get the better transmission. No, I think I gotta keep going straight. Yeah, this road. Yeah, this is it. I recognize this stuff. It's been a couple of weeks since I've been on this map because I had um, episodes on my hard drive that I could record or that I could upload to YouTube when I needed to, but I'm out. 
I caught up. So I have to record an episode before I can upload an episode. I'd be making better time with the Kraz. Even pulling like, uh, say, an M747 trailer. Unload. Three service spare parts. Thanks for your help. Now that I have electricity here again, I can help you with spare parts, steel, and pipes. Except. Now the next job is moving one it should be that trailer right there yep yellow spot on the ground now. That yellow square is a cargo management area now. Later on we'll load stuff from there. There we go. We got our trailer. And we just got to take it back to pretty much where we started from, just a little further. So we come down here. We can either take a shortcut across or follow the road down around like this. Figure that out later. See what, see how bad the tree cover looks. I wonder if there's anything I could load from here for another job. Hmm. Metal beams. There's, um, there's some bridge construction. None of those are along my road. Maybe when I go up north it will be, but... Here. I need a metal beam for that. Of 
course, I need a concrete slab, too. And the concrete slab, I have to go up there. I can get the metal beam at the same place as the concrete slab. See, it's pointing there, but I can get the metal beam right here. or at least before it told me, before this was activated, it was telling me I could get the metal beam up there. It's large pipe, not small pipe. Two fuel barrels. I guess we could grab one metal beam. And deliver it. And then... Bring... And then do the water tower job. which is two medium pipe back down to here. Okay. Well, I'm not going to try to turn this thing around. It's in the right spot. back up past it, back right into that loading zone. Yeah, see now that that dob's activated, job, did I say dob? Now that that, that job is activated, it allows me to discover the trailer. I'm sure I can still get metal beam up there, but uh, just in case, just in case something changed because I activated this zone. I almost wish we needed small pipe for something. I can get it right now. Okay, escape. Go get my trailer. And 
we can start, at least deliver, we can do the first stage of bridge construction. I'm real close. It might attach if I just back up a little more. There we go. Beautiful. That was a kind of kind of a change in plans that I hadn't planned for. Pick it up a metal beam right there. Last time I used this truck was on History of Eura, and because of the rank restrictions, I couldn't even get all-wheel drive. I did the first job with this, only rear-wheel drive, and the stock transmission and the stock ride height. Before I took it out today, I was able to get, because on this map I'm rank 5, I was able to get the special transmission, but the advanced special is still better, and I was able to get raised right height. And I was able to get all-wheel drive. Someday I'll learn that that road going that way doesn't go anywhere. thing mostly just cruises along in first, second, or third. I know I could make better speed over the ground with the uh, Kras, but the Kras can't carry four spots. of um, freight on its back. I'd have to pull a trailer, which is really no big deal, but I think I can cut through the woods and shit right here. I'm 
Yeah, see a couple of trees and here we are. But the excavator doesn't move. Dang poles. I thought the nose would swing past it. Here we are. Boom. To another 1200 bucks. 60 points closer to the next rank. And that's two jobs done. So now I want, um, let's see. Power for the scrap yard, moving one, water tower. I have to go up here and pick up two medium pipes. Or rather, pick up the pipes from up here. Drop off the steel there by activating that job and then bring the pipe go back to this job bring the pipe down here so we might as well activate the steel job that was in here bridge construction one switch to that one for now and you know what I think there's one of those civil protection points along the way let me check that no oh it's over there I'm going this way There is one way down here at Old Military Post, and I do intend to clear out this corner at some point, but that's not on the menu today. So I'll just go back to the bridge. Why does it take me way across the map? when the shit goes up here. I want to go north up to that big puddle. Then go up through the piping factory to get to the bridge. Ain't that a good looking truck? There is a job somewhere for that trailer, but I haven't found it yet. I backed it around the corner with the controller. Yeah, I need to get out to the road where the bridge is. And I don't really care how.
I need fuel. Oh, come on. Back away from it. I have a fuel truck at the garage. Oh boy, look at this. I'm kind of on the wrong side of the bridge. But if I come up this side, then I'm already across it. I wish it was easier to get fuel. It'll take time to drive that truck over here. So you get enough angle on it so you're not nosing in. It'll go up. She's just a big girl. Doesn't like little ditches. Here's the road. Now before I get any further away from the fuel, there's a fuel station over there, but that's the wrong side of the river. This crash Chabors has fuel on board. Look how quickly this thing moves out compared to that Western Star. Just like that. Caught up to this thing. Right, that didn't take too long. Put this thing off to the side of the road. I was hoping to straighten it out a little more, but I'll have to do this. There we go. Okay. Stop. Kill engine. Change truck. And we're on our way again.
fresh load of fuel and all fixed up. That's not the road. So I think I was supposed to, yeah. Don't I do this every freaking time I come up here? I wish I could put a roadblock across there. A sign with an arrow. Something. Is that the turn with the puddle? Yep. I had some stuff lined up for the M134 to do um, until I saw that that first job we did gave access to location. I thought that's uh, something better to take care of. And then I started seeing, well, this job, you know, when you, when you drop off this job, you can pick up that job. And so on and so forth. Yep, turn left to go down to the bridge. Nah, I should be able to make that if I swing wide. Knock the fence down, but I'll clear the pole. It's a loading area for the pipe. We'll come back to that as soon as we're done here. If I wanted to stage trucks and material ahead of time, I could have had a truck down here with the concrete on it you know just unloaded one truck and then unload the other but I didn't have a truck up there and take too long to do all that screwing around unload stage completed Now, escape and switch to, oh, what was it, water tower?
And we only got water tower and campfire left in these tasks. Unless I find something else. Oh, there's unlucky. One that I haven't even got in my list yet is unlucky one. That's way up past where we get the cement. So let's get this thing out of here. I gotta switch. Hang on. Stop. Switch to water tower. I thought I did that. Oh, I didn't start tracking. I went and looked at it, but I didn't start tracking. Isn't dementia fun? Yeah, this is gonna take. I don't know. Starting way back here. Purposely overshoot. Then back up. And then get it through the gate. Two medium pipe. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Oof. Right back down that road we came up. Down to here. So we follow this right around to it after I get a drink of water. I thought it would swing past that if I clipped the fence a little, but it's hard to see exactly what the nose is going to do from this angle. It's if it's going to clear or not. I need to get up here more. With taller suspension, it wouldn't nose in so much. old watchtower up on the hill.
Am I going the right way? I don't remember going through a... Oh, yeah. Duh. This is the big puddle. It just looked different coming this way. God, I'm so used to being in the crowds that just hauls ass. Or even an IX3880. I've been starting to use those. And they're pretty quick too. I could make some adjustments to this truck. But it seems like, oops, that's garage. Woo! Drifting with the brakes on. It seems like I don't know. I don't want to say too much. It's just like every time I try to adjust the steering a tiny bit or maybe the traction of a tire It says invalid truck and it makes me download it again. I don't think we're ahead far enough to get through that gate. Maybe, ooh, if I don't overshoot. I overshot. But it's a very small gate for this big of a truck. Am I still hitting? It's the tire. God, will the wheels go through this gate? <laughs> That's it on the other side. Oh my God. I'm looking at an alternate plan right now, but it went through. I was thinking I could go through the ditch and just bust the fence down. Okay. We get a little different angle on this here. F. F. All right. Accept. Now we're at 
um, 46 minutes. I know I've done this job before. I, th I think the map updated and it's making you redo some of your progress. But anyways, I remember backing through that gate before. Maybe that was just to get the job. I, I don't know. Everything's just a mess up there in my brain. So I take notes to try and organize my thoughts. Now, the only other thing I was going to do involved the M134 running all over the map, uh, delivering a Don. Um, I'll show you. I don't think we're going to get to it today. I'm 40, 48 minutes in. Where... Where, oh, where is the M134? Where, oh, where can it be? <laughs> um, where the M134 is here, there's a Don. No, it's not that one. Campfire is for consumables. You pick up consumables at the farm and you take them up there. I've got a truck over here that could do that. But the um, wrong turn job, I can do wrong turn and civil protection at the same time because some of the civil protection points are right along the route for wrong turn. You gotta take the Don down here. You gotta take the barrels up here. The trailer but there's barrels on it. It doesn't tell you because it's locked. So that's wrong turn. And then that uh, other one about hitting the points, those points are all over along the road, like right down here. I could do that right after that. Um, I think there's another one in the black area here. There's the watchtower there. There's um, a silver protection point here. Well, when I'm taking the consumables, when I'm grabbing consumables from the farm for the campfire job, I could swing over here and hit old military research facility and then go up to here where it says exploration supply and I just spun the map. Um, and then, you know, well, like I said, there's that one there. And I think there's supposed to be one down here in this. Yeah, right here. And I could just take any vehicle that's close and run down here. I could take the truck I'm in and just bust through the woods and pop that one. Why don't we do that right now? Just put a straight line. Boom. But you know that's not going to be just 
woods. It's not going to be just mowing down a few trees. There's probably going to be huge gullies and steep hills and everything else. I need to get up where I can see the nose of the truck. Yep, here's the first one. See if I can circumvent it going this way. This is an area of the map we don't see much. I'm actually back on the road now. And boink! There she goes. That's one of the points. And I cleared out the corner. All but a little tiny bit of forest. I could keep going straight ahead and clear out some more black stuff up there or I could just stop the video and it, I'd have less gigabytes to upload <laughs> wonder how deep that is should we find out Ooh, dangerous water level right away come back up out of there That was right over the cab immediately. It has a tall snorkel. The snorkels are above the cab. That's all just forest. With a radar unit, oh, I'd love to have a radar unit and just one pass of the radar and it's all gone. But when I tried getting one, it was not available. I think it's a, a level thing. I'm not leveled up enough or something. Oh, there's the map border. We found that. We'll do some more exploring this way for a couple of minutes. Oh, this is the area. Not, not right here, to my left, where the map border was. And I think a little further ahead. No, I think it was right here along the edge of the map border. Um, I don't know why I was over there. I was over there with the Kras and the M747 and I had lumber on it. And I tipped over against the map border. The truck was laying against the map border so it wouldn't let me do anything to drag the fucker out of there. I'm gonna shoot this way and up this way and then head back for the Kras.
this is just to open the map, you know. And that tree's not letting me go where I want to go. I'm trying to turn right. I got that tree under me. Oh, big gully. Take it at an angle. Oh, we might not be able to get back over where the crabs is. Oh, hey, look at here. This is a softer slope. Sort of. Now we may just return it to the garage. No. Try for a winch point. Get, get this shit that pulls behind me. Trying to pull me backwards. There we go. some nice area you don't normally see. Normally you'd clear this out with the radar trailer. And you'd never have to actually drive over here. crater there is a job it's where you have to go around and find all the craters last time I did this in the Russian version that's as far as I got there was Craters 1, Craters 2, and Craters 3. And each subsequent job unlocked, as you did the one before it. Well, Craters 1 and Craters 2 worked okay. And then Craters 3 would never unlock. So, there you go. We did some map opening up that was all black before. Now we just got some gray. Little piece of black here. Hard to say if there's anything under that or not. But there's a 
the map so far. Got one watchtower up there. We'll hit that next time. All right, that's all she wrote. I was actually done at like 47 minutes in. Now I'm an hour one. <laughs> but we did some scouting with a gigantic truck. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.